man, what a morning. So this is uh, our first night wild camping in the new year. And it's one degrees Celsius right now. And there was some frost in the tent, as you saw. And uh, yeah, crazy. But today is a big day because we're going to be heading to, leaving the state of Florida and heading to Alabama. <laughs> That's going to be exciting. Oh, yeah, it's cold. <laughs> so not used to this. It is so cold. Oh my God. border to Alabama sweet home Alabama so we've been cycling in Florida for over three weeks and now we completed the panhandle and everything and going to Alabama sweet home Alabama They're clouds. And it's like we crossed the whole country because Florida was so big. <laughs> but we're only going through a small part uh, of Alabama, only along the coast. start in Alabama we have a big uh, yeah bicycle path just for ourselves right next to the road so that's great Take the ferry at 2.45. Just the two of you? Yeah. Yeah, with the bikes. There are so many all platforms here. There's like there's one and there and over there and it's crazy. The ferry brought us to Dolphin Island. Um it was kind of a shortcut only. So we didn't have to go all the round, all the way around through Mobile, a bigger city. Um, yeah, so we could have could cycle some more remote areas. And now we only have one kilometer to go to our warm showers hosts for tonight, Duane and Joanne. first and actually only night in Alabama we spent with Duane and Joanne, uh, warm showers hosts, and it was great. We had a very nice evening talking together and this morning uh, they even took us out to the aquarium where Joanne works part-time. Uh, so it's nice to do something apart from cycling <laughs> but uh, yeah, now it got a bit late it's 11 p.m. already a.m. not p.m. and we still have to do a few kilometers today so we had to rush a bit now and have to get going yeah.
Well, there you have it. Welcome to Mississippi. <laughs> We've actually only been in Alabama for one night or this is the second day now and now we're leaving it again yeah and it's weird because we went we were in florida for almost a month so now we're just cruising through all these states really quick on the coast After the last days were quite cold, it's so warm again today. <laughs> it's so it's just as warm as it looks. <laughs> and we're still wearing our warm shoes and socks and so on because we didn't expect it to be that warm. So yeah, sweaty feet. <laughs> but of course we enjoy it. Especially because it's meant to get just above freezing uh, again tonight. So this bike path is in really, it's really nice, but in really bad condition. And apparently this is because the last hurricane and you see all the trucks also like evening the sand again on the beach and yeah crazy but it's actually also interesting it's also something that our hosts from uh, two nights ago explained to us that all these um, all these houses that are right on the beach like on Dolphin Island for example but along the whole coast they're all on stilts so when the flood water comes uh, from storms or hurricanes then uh, yeah, the, the chances are higher that not everything is destroyed. But they said like all the houses right on the beach, they're like uninsurable. And usually after every hurricane, they're either so badly damaged that it's like written off or completely washed away or whatever. And they explained like, because they're insurable, uninsurable, that um, most of them are like short-term rental places and they're just, uh, um, yeah, try to earn as much money as quickly as possible with these houses and then when they're destroyed or damaged they just completely rebuilt every single time after every bigger storm which is seems like such a wasteful mentality but well as so many things are I guess yeah it's crazy a bit because it looks like it's meant to rain pretty soon um, so we're trying to gonna try and go to a fine little park there's one coming up in like five kilometers and then uh, cook there in this uh, pavilion yeah so let's see let's hope we make it there before it rains All right, we made it to the park for the rain, and now we're gonna cook a nice meal. Yes. But at least we got to this pavilion just in time, so not better than being in the open. Hope 
definitely going to be camping in this park right next to the big uh, 90 highway and next to this river um, it, it, there is a bit more going on than we like usually but uh, when we're looking for a park but there aren't any parks here no. and uh, yeah we hope it's gonna work out it's pretty bright here because there are many lanterns everywhere yeah let's see So windy out of a sudden. Beautiful sunrise for our second and last morning in Mississippi because we're going to cross to Louisiana today and going to New Orleans. And as you can see, it got really cold again. It's uh, one or two degrees Celsius and yeah we're wearing very warm clothes again <laughs> yeah it's a beautiful morning Alright, so up ahead is the border to Louisiana and that marks the end of this video even if it was a bit shorter maybe than the others because we only spend a few nights in Alabama and Mississippi Here comes Louisiana Woo!